Hey, ga, hey, ga, hey, ga, hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'm going to be showing you on how to create a Vignon throwable inside of Unity so we can prepare it to be used for, you know, fun redeems for Vignon. So, basically what you're going to be needing is you're going to be needing Unity 2020.3.48. Disregard the fact that I'm using the wrong version of Unity, but Basically, you're going to be needing that version of Unity. Then, um, what you're going to be needing is, of course, your prop or your FBX file. Now, if you ca in case you don't know where to get an FBX file from, you can either A, model it, uh, model your own on Blender, which for my case, I'm going to be utilizing this controller as demonstration for Adorable. You know, that's what we're going to do. Um, so, we'll do that. Um... If you don't know how to use Blender nor want to use Blender, you can download uh, 3D models off of TurboSquid or Sketchfab or basically any other site. I do not recommend MMD assets as they prohibit commercial use and most of the time you're probably going to be doing commercial use, especially if you're gaining donations. So do not use MMD assets. So besides that though, um, if you don't want to use a 3D model off a site or maybe you want a very specific one you're gonna have to commission someone in that case if you needed something very specific uh, but otherwise you can of course make your own and so on all you just need is your FBX file your textures um, which is the PNGs so I'm gonna basically uh, show right here it mine look like this so there's an FBX file and then there's a texture this is basically what you're going to be needing uh, you don't need the textures though some models uh, you could just Depending on the material, you could just recolor with diffuse, but um, but basically, you know, we're just going to be needing this. Now, of course, if you're absolutely brand new to Blender or Unity or 3D overall, I advise you, please look up a tutorial on how to use Unity uh, and how to use Blender for beginners. Um, that way you don't get really confused on the stuff that I'll be doing. All right. And also one last note. Vignon does rapidly update, so if any part of my tutorial does happen to get outdated instantly, it is because Vignon does update a lot. So, please make sure to apply your own knowledge and do your own self-experimenting in case that happens. But otherwise, we're going to go ahead and click and drag the FBX file to here. Uh, you can also create folders by right-clicking and then uh, create folder. So, if you're in the assets panel, you can right-click and then create folder to put your FBX file there. Um, so you can do that. What you're also going to be needing as well, you know, once you put your FBX file there and such, you're going to be needing the Vignon SDK, which in the next clip, um, I will be basically showing you how to install the Vignon SDK, but all you really just got to do is just import, just take the Unity package and just drag it to the Unity project file and that's it. But I'll still show you anyway, so roll the clip. So, in order to install the Vignon SDK to Unity, first of all, you're going to be needing the version Unity 2020.3.48. Now, I'm using the wrong version of Unity. Don't ignore what the top part of my screen says, but that's the version I recommend to you, and that's also what Suvadrail would recommend. Do keep in mind, by the way, Vignon does rapidly update. So because of that, there's going to be a chance Vignon, actually it's more of a definite, that down the line Vignon's probably going to get um, a big Unity change. So there's going to be like a, it's going to probably be in Unity 2021 or 2022 down the line. Um, again, the date of that is unknown. Probably in the future, maybe you end up um, getting that update, I don't know. But either way, if there happens to be a new update to Vignon, then please make sure you use that version instead and then you disregard the version I just mentioned. But in the making of this tutorial, Unity 2020.3.48 is the version you're going to be using. So in order to install the Vignon SDK, you basically just go to Unity, uh, open up your project, name it wherever you want. I personally put the UniVRM, um, you know, files here you don't have to but that's if you want if you prefer using mtune i usually prefer mtune for simplicity but you do whatever you want um but you don't have to 
basically in File Explorer, you should have, um, you should install the Vignan SDK. Again, the Vignan SDK also updates as well. Um, so just keep an eye out for any updates because again, Vignan does rapidly update. So I cannot keep, keep up, but I just, you know. So basically just download the Vignan SDK um, and then you just click and drag the Unity package over to Unity and then you just click on import. You just give it some time to import basically and that's how you would install it and as you can see the Vignan SDK is right here basically. So pretty much uh, from there you could basically just do what you want in regards to the Vignan SDK which um, I will then show you in the next clip what's the next thing we're going to be doing. Alright, so once you have the Vignan SDK installed already, pretty much what you're going to then do is uh, with your prop, uh, once you select the FBX file here, you're going to go to your materials tab here and you're going to click on extract materials. You're going to then right click, add, uh, go to new, add a folder and name it materials. And then you're going to then uh, select folder here. So you're going to extract all your materials here. Uh, and then you can basically select all of your materials right here. Click on the shader and then add whatever shader you want. You can add Poyomi, Little Tune, Arc Tune, whatever tune shader or realistic shader you want as long as it's supported with built-in Unity. But I'm going to go with standard M-Tune because I've imported the uh, Uni VRM package you can look that up um but i'm gonna just use that due to simplicity so yeah and then basically i'm just going to you can mess with the things however you want but you can select uh your materials here and then basically go to your textures folder and just add your textures so you can make it pretty however you want you don't have to do exactly what i do just have fun with it play experiment with the settings don't be scared don't be scared of these settings they don't hurt but Basically though, what you're going to then do uh, is of course select your FBX file and then drag it here and you can do all your refining of your shaders if you like. Now if you happen to see that the controller or well your prop is a little too big, you may want to go to the model tab right here and put the scale factor to 0.3. Again, it depends on the prop. Not every prop is going to be giant sometimes they'll be very tiny so just be aware about the scale factor but if it happens to be a bit too big for your unity scene and you know it then just reduce the scale factor to 0 0.3 or 0 0.1 depends so just keep that in mind i personally would just prefer if you just go to blender and you just um you just basically just scale it from there use a height chart from the even or something so yeah but what you're going to then do is, uh, in order to make it a throwable, you're going to click on your object right here, right? We're going to create uh, a box collider for this. Now, you can either do a box collider or you can just type in collider here. You do have um, different kinds of poly um, colliders here you can choose from. You could choose mesh collider or you could choose capsule uh, box collider is usually what's best recommend, but you know, you could utilize a uh, capsule like if you have like a soda or something round, uh, or you could do mesh if it's like way too complicated of a shape and you want more details, but mainly I just use between box collider or capsule. Either one of those are probably the best, honestly. So I'm going to use box collider for my case. What I'm going to then do is that um, after that, I'm going to then click on Edit Collider here. So this little weird um, little dots here. And it will show you your um, mesh right here, basically. And you can, of course, adjust accordingly. You can hold the Alt key and then you can adjust um, your collider. So that way, like, um, basically, this is going to be what will collide with your avatar, basically. So, yeah. But once you have that, uh, you can then add, um, what you can then add is a throwable object script. So you, you know, once you have Vignette SDK installed, you just type in throwable uh, and then insert Vignette throwable object basically. So basically this is, um, you know, the throwable component here and basically you could add a collision particle if you want. So like, let's say you have a tomato, right? And you want it where if it tosses at your character it throws a particle effect that could be a fun thing you can do um so pretty much it's just you know you can just right click add an empty and then right click and then you can add like um effects particle system make sure this 
particle system is connected to the game object and such make sure you zero everything out basically and you can basically like kind of like um tell Vignon that this game object would be your collision particle if you want that um like you could do that sort of thing if you so desire um but otherwise you don't have to it's just if you want you know if you want like a little particle effect you can do destroy on collision so like if it's like a tomato that's tossed out your character it would the tomato probably would crash on uh impact so if it you know if the tomato tosses at your face you can have it where it disappears immediately you can also even make it where if it throws at you it's sticky so like cheese or um or weird a uh, sticky paper or something like that like a sticky note uh you could definitely have it where you can have the um object be sticky so it stays on your character um until it disappears basically and then you can have a uh, look at tar um look at target spawn uh if you want that like um i believe this is where if uh depending on where your character is looking or i think actually um it's where your camera is at it will toss from the camera angle like things but basically you could do that if you want to have like an adjustment regarding where it's going to spawn and toss you in the face but yeah um but you could do that but otherwise though you just need to have this component and then you just click on your controller or well, click on your prop mine's a controller but you click on the prop click on vignan sdk and then you're gonna click on export throwable oh yeah that's right um you're also gonna need a rigid body as well so you just um type in uh add component and then you click on uh rigid body right here and you just add that and then you do vignan sdk then you click on um export throwable and it should work um in case you don't know what rigid body is it's more of like this can allow you to adjust the weight of it so if it's like a if like when you're tossing um a, a feather at your face you can make it where the feather is so delicate when it gets tossed like it's not like immediately tossed it could be like very light or something um or like if it hits your face it will just like be very slow when it falls or something like that you can mess with this if you like if you want to adjust its weight but otherwise though uh you just you know once you have your rigid body your vignon object component and your box collider or collider in any way then you're going to then click on your prop click on vignon sdk export throwable go to your vignon folder right here mine's here and then basically you're gonna click on um items you're gonna click on throwables this folder it has to go in this folder otherwise it will not be detected and then you can name it wherever you want so i'll name mine game controller vignon throw save it and then give it some time to export and then it should be exported so once you have that, you're going to then go to Vignan, hi, and then you're going to go to your settings, then you're going to go to miscellaneous, M-I-S-E, uh, and then you're going to click on reload items. That way, uh, Vignan will kind of like re, um, it'll basically like, um, it'll basically like look at the folder again and see like, oh, is there a new change to the folder? Is there a new asset or something like that? So. Basically, what you're going to do is that you're going to then go into your node graph here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click on add new graph. Then this really depends on how you want it to be, whether it's a Twitch, Kick, or YouTube, whatever it is. We're going to use a channel point uh, just for demonstration purposes, but it could be a hotkey. I do not care what it is. It could be anything. Uh, but we'll do a channel point, right? And we can name this... Um, toss controller right then what you're going to do is that in the search node you're going to type in throw item uh or um you can either type in throw or literally it's just the first thing under the action nodes click on throw item then you're going to connect these nodes here together these two little dots then what you're going to do is that you're going to scroll all the way down till you find um the prop that you made for yourself so for my case this is a throwable game controller then you're gonna type in the amount that you want let's say I want three controllers toss in my face and I want it where after 10 seconds they disappear basically and then what you're going to then do 
is you're going to right click send signal and as you can see um, the controller is tossed on my face basically and of course if I were to go to unity right now uh, and I were to say this object is sticky actually so I go Vignon export throwable and then I were to let's say we just call this stick um, and let that export because uh, I also want to show you how it will look like if it's sticky basically what you're going to do again settings reload items give it a couple seconds to reload everything basically then go to node graphs then you're going to double check to see where it is mine's right here um, yes check everywhere and then I'm gonna toss it again and as you can see the controllers are now stuck to my face Ugh. so yeah um, but pretty much that is how you'll actually be able to create a throwable or stickable uh, prop when it comes to Vignon and that's pretty much how you do that with the SDK um, if you have any other question regarding Vignon, then feel free to join the um, Suvadero Discord server and you can ask all your questions about Vignon and the community can definitely help you out if you have any other questions. And of course, take your time with the Vignon SDK um, and such. If you have any other questions for me, you can of course join my own Discord server, I have my own. Um, but if you have questions, usually I'm the one that answers it, so I'm here if you have questions. But otherwise though, join the uh, Super Dress Discord server and leave your questions in the comments or tutorial requests if you have any. And yeah, I hope you guys have a lovely day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye! Thank you so much to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership, so if you want to get access to extra perks and further support me and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake membership. Otherwise though, just you guys watching is just enough support for me and I appreciate every ounce of it. So, either way though, I hope you guys have a lovely day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!